Good evening and welcome back once again. So as you may see there's a couple of bodies missing today. The transfer window has ended and there was a couple of outgoings. Now initially we got offers in for Herrera and Gedson and choosing between the two I went with selling Gedson. A year younger than Herrera but his overall was a bit low as well. His salary was a lot higher and the offer we got in was uh, of a higher amount as well. And I just can't let Herrera go. You know, he's been there since the start, since we signed him. Him and Vieira were the first two signings. I just can't let him go yet. We have sold Gedson and I don't feel too bad for that. We've bought in Bellingham. We've bought in Pedri. We've got plenty of players that can play in those midfield, central midfield roles. And one that I wasn't expecting was Carlos Perez. We got an offer in for him and it was above his market value. And I was just looking at his growth graph. Well, it's flattened out now and it was about to start declining in a year or two and I thought with us getting Diaby in now we've got Pedri that can play in multiple positions Messi will be coming back in January I thought we're gonna have to take that offer now and just for a bit of extra cover we did have a youngster a regen Joaquin he retired last year in the game and we've actually brought him up from the youth squad just before this match so he hasn't joined up yet but he can play in pretty much anywhere in the front three or the midfield positions so he's going to be a good cover he's only 16 years old he'll probably get a few substitute appearances we might put him on loan in january when we get a few players back and he'd want to sell in the future if we don't fancy keeping him but anyway going into today diaby is going to be the captain martinelli's going to be on the bench because mudrick's on and up and remember the reason why we have switched the captain to either martinelli or diaby and i think there's a couple of others is because of their traits they actually increase the amount of experience that our players get by a small amount but let's jump in it's the first champions league match of the season away to zurich and what a beautiful stadium this is looking like today um playing against zurich weirdly we've had a, we've just had our most successful season the last season you know we won five trophies technically the two super cups la liga copa del rey and the champions league and strangely the season after that we've made probably the most changes to the squad that we have done in some time as in major players that we've sold the likes of emerson the likes of perez Gedson, not so much but big decisions there but i think they're the right ones um, you know you can't stand still in the Master League unfortunately a lot of players tend to start declining at a relatively early age you know 27, 28 um, I think it's maybe it could be a little bit more realistic um, I don't think it's like old Pez games where some players would start declining a lot later it seems to be fairly consistently 27, 28 so um you know, the players that we had brought in a couple of years ago, they've done us a great job, and I don't really want to sell them, but you can't just keep them for the sake of it. So I think we've made right decisions there. It's going to be weird not to see Perez on that right-hand side. It really is. Obviously, Diaby's playing a lot more recently than, than Perez. Messi, when he comes back. Mudrick can even play over that right-hand side if needed. Joaquin, who we've just signed from the youth squad, he can play multiple positions. Um, so yeah, I don't feel too bad, and we've got good money for them. You know, we've got around about their market value. In fact, Perez was above his market value, um, which is quite rare that you get above in pairs. Anyway, here's the captain today, Diaby. Scored a hat trick in the last match, remember? But we're improving our squad, not just, well, not just the squad itself. You know, the people on the bench are getting better and better, but the starting lineup is still as well. You know, bringing in Pedri, amazing signing, technically still on loan at the moment. Ooh, a bit unlucky there. But Herrera's starting today as well. Like I say, we nearly sold them. I just, it wasn't, the money we were offered wasn't worth it. I think it was about 11 million. Is market value, I think, is about 16 or 17. And he offers us more at the moment, probably, than Gedson does. Um, and when I was looking at Gedson's stats, his main high stats were speed, acceleration, and stamina. Now, stamina is a good one to have as a central midfielder. Speed, not so much. Um, Herrera had better all round stats for like a box to box type midfielder. And Getson was on nearly double the salary. And we wanted to free that up. Trippy had a great game in the last one as well. 
Pedri. Come for a shot there. Oh, nice play. Oh, what a finish there from Mudrick. Pedri with his first assist. Pedri gets it back here. Nice little ball. What a finish from Mudrick, though. First time. Nice play from Pedri here. Nice touch. Little pass. Great finish, though. Oh, and by the way, the uh, the regen or second choice goalkeeper, Manuel Neuer, which I'm sure you'll know, one of the most famous goalkeepers in the world. Um, he is starting today. Remember, Mandanda, who was our second choice, is on loan at the moment. Nice play by Ogbonna there. One of the youngsters in centre back positions. Castro. Diaby Castro. Oh, I thought that was in. Vieira. Good tackle. Herrera bringing it forward. Nice play by him. Zirkov. Oh, really nice finish from Castro there. Just got ahead of the defender. And Zirkov, again, another youngster regen. Getting an assist. It was trippy in the last game. I think he got three assists. Lovely finish. And Castro was a little bit absent in the last game. It just bypassed him the game. And it wasn't his fault. It just all of the play was down the width. Uh, mainly on the right-hand side. Diaby and Trippier were fantastic in that game. Combining twice. Diaby ended up with a first-half hat-trick. Trippier's looking one of the best signings we've made in a while as well. Just from the youth squad. Let's play a Castro. Now Mudrick. Pedri, nice ball to Zirkov. It's a little bit behind Mudrick there. Pedri. Gosh, defenders don't know half know how to block when it's the AI. <laughs> they really do. There he's Pedri again, rotating the ball. Oh, Fiera nearly getting Pedri in. It's a nice little delicate pass and it just caught the defender. <laughs> nice play from Diaby there. Keeping it alive. Didn't uh, actually find its way to Castro in the end, but... bringing it forward Pedri again bloody AI always blocking the shots Pedri Diaby Pedri again and our own players are getting in the way now Castro Mudrick straight at the keeper nearly half time Somehow it's only 2 0. Could have been more. Should have been more. Oh, just over. Tight angle. Had to go for power. But that should be half time as soon as this gets uh, in the air. Good first half.
Pereira is always very solid in the middle. Oh my goodness. Pierre can't just cannot get shots away in this game. It seems to be worse than normal. Passing's just not quite working today. That was fluent as normal. Because that can happen when you make signings and sell people. The chemistry might go down a little bit. Nice play from Pedri here, though. And again, and he's got his goal. Great reaction. It was behind him after the deflection. Unfortunately, Castro won't get the assist because of that. But that's his first goal for the club. It's all Pedri here. Plays it into Castro. It's a nice attempt at a pass back and it just deflects. So it's behind Pedri and he reacts very quickly. Left foot finish. He's very good with both feet. And uh, we'll look to make some substitutions probably the next time the ball goes out. Rest some players. We've got a slightly more smaller squad than what we had last season. We'll remember Joaquin is coming in. And we've got players coming back in January, the likes of Messi, Debushi. Oh, nice play there. Now Vieira. Modric. Castro. Oh, Vieira, come on, man. That would have been a beautiful team goal. We'll make some subs now. Kagan Lee's coming on for Vieira. Bellingham for Herrera. And Martinelli's going to come on for Diaby. And they're going to switch wings. So Mudrick on the right, Martinelli on the left. And Martinelli will take the Kansi on band off Diaby. The good thing is we do have multiple players that can play in many positions. Um, obviously, they've got their favourites, but... Got a pretty versatile squad. Oh, I've got to go back. Brought out Neuer thinking, uh, well, it was the right thing to do, it was, but uh, just couldn't get there quick enough. That's poor. It's the first chance they've had. I'm not happy with that in the slightest. And that's a free kick to us. Let's hope Pedri's not injured there. Or Kang and Lee, rather. Decent shot by Bellingham. Nice play, Castro here. Modric, oh, just over and wide. I still think we're finding off feet this season. We're not quite our fluent best. We played really well in the Super Cups. Um, that was off camera, maybe less pressure. Not having to commentate at the same time. Oh, should have scored there. Martinelli should have just shot. Nice play by Kang and Lee. Oh, he just loses it. Couldn't get the pass through. Bellingham. No. Again, any shot you have from a relative distance just gets blocked straight away. Pretty much, what, 90, 95% of the time? It's a bit definitely overkill. Uh, overpowered. Good tackle there. 
Costner gets it back. A nice play to Mudrick. And a really nice ball to Castro. Ah, uh, somehow Potofina gets ahead of him, even though he looks like a slow player. Martinelli now. Castro. Ah, uh, poor touch. Wasn't the best pass, really. He's Bellingham, though. Oh, nice ball through to Martinelli. How has he missed that? Well, Martinelli, Martinelli's had a bit of a shocker since he's come on. Oh, ref, that wasn't a free kick. Got the ball cleanly. back though good play by Bellingham now Mudrick Castro ah keep the pressure on oh well, there's no one over there for us did well to keep the pressure on but um, they just launched it upfield and got away with it going to be offside there. Ah, and he is offside. Hey, oh just. I thought he was miles off. But that will be full time. Get our Champions League campaign off to a good start. Solid. Should have got more goals. And Pedri got man of the match. I'm sure many more to come along with his first goal as well. Very good performance. Just it didn't quite click uh, as much as normal with those passing. I think we're still finding our feet with that sort of relatively new midfield. But it's three points and a good start to the season. And that's it for today, guys. The next match is at home to Mallorca in the league. Joaquin, the uh, midfielder, has joined up with the squad, the 16-year-old regen. Appreciate your guys' support as always. Hit that like button, drop a comment down below and subscribe to the channel if you're not already. And I'll see you next time. Cheers.